Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Loris Bermuda Triangle deck profile for April 2017. I uh, did some changes to the deck and I thought I'd bring you guys an update. I know the Bermuda Triangle is getting more support uh, towards the end of the summer uh, for us in the uh, English format, so it's definitely something to look forward to, seeing what kind of new uh, ways the deck will carry out. So let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the Stride Zone. Uh, stride Zone for Bermuda Triangle, uh, the generic uh, Loris build, is pretty uh, standard. Uh, for Olivia, for your uh, main stride, uh, she's great pressure. She can help get off multiple attacks, and she gets an extra critical when you bounce uh, up to three different units uh, from the field uh, back to your hand, letting you call all the two other units. So you basically, you know... Attacking with that extra critical vanguard and then having to deal with a new setup on the rear guard as well. And I only have one uh, Loris uh, at the moment, the stride, but I would run two just because she has that extra power up as well and an extra critical um, for the vanguard as well. Being able to give power to rear guards is also very helpful just so you can hit those big uh, columns. And one uh, Morris, when it's placed on Vanguard, you choose two of your rear guards, bounce them back to your hand. You can reset Harmony with this and set up some different columns for strategy. Uh, same with Alprina. She's a Soul Blast one, however, so uh, you don't have to do it when it's placed. This can be whenever, so even after you get your field set up, you can do this. I would probably take out uh, one of her just for the extra Loris if you have the second one. And two. Frederica, she is a on-hit skill of unflip, so she'll put you at GB2 and have the ability to bounce a unit. And she also has harmony as well, so when you place her on Vanguard with the stride, if there's a unit behind your Vanguard, you uh, activate harmony with that as well. Something important to remember with that unit. Uh, Tusomni, it's an on-hit uh, bounce and call ability, so pressure for attack for one of your first turn strides. And then for the G-Guards, I run two Nasha. This is the one that if you reveal a unit in your hand and you have the same grade on uh, the field, you get plus 5,000 shield. So very easy G-Guard to use. And two Leona. This one, you bounce the monster uh, rear guard on the field. And then if you call that same rear guard to the guard circle, this unit gets plus 5 shield. And it's great because in situations where the guard restriction is limited, this is a superior call to the guard circle. So if it's like a grade 1 or 0 and you're not able to guard those, you can still call it to the guard circle with this unit since it was a superior call to the guard circle and not a normal call. And now moving on to the main deck, I run 4 uh, Miracle Voice Loris. This is your main uh, grade 3 of the deck. Uh, when you stride over her, you choose one of your rear guards, bounce it to your hand, and draw a card for one counterblast. And the uh, GB2 effect is when all when this unit becomes harmony, choose two of your units, they get plus 5 until the end of the turn, and this unit gets an extra critical. So you're able to also achieve harmony during your opponent's turn. So if you can successfully do this, which I'll show the combo after, you could give plus 5 to this during your opponent's turn, giving you that extra power you need, which is really cool. And also two Spica. This is a rear guard effect uh, for bouncing with just a counter blast one and a soul blast one. When it attacks, if it's in harmony, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other rear guards in harmony, return it to your hand, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to rear. And uh, when this is, when your other unit's placed on rear guard during your battle phase, if this unit, this unit gets plus 2,000 and that unit. So extra power boost as well. I just like it because it has that guaranteed bounce from rear guard ability. And two, Liddy. This is as a Vanguard, Counter Blast, Soul Blast. When uh, placed on Vanguard, you check the top five cards of your deck for a unit with Harmony. So very easy to search out cards you need, including Loris, since she has Harmony. And for grade twos, I run four, Admirable Sparkle Spica. It is a Counter Blast one when it attacks the Vanguard. If it's boosted, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other rear guards, return it to your hand. Choose one card from your hand, call it to rear, and that unit gets plus 3,000. So an easy way to get off multiple attacks, just bounce back a unit that was already rested, and then call another one for plus 12. You can even call 9Ks and they'll attack for 12, most of the time being able to hit the Vanguard. And for uh, Melia, this is the counter blast one when it's returned from the field to the hand, you draw a card. It also has resist, so easy to protect this card also. And like I said, she just adds to the draw power. She's the reason you don't have to run draws in this deck and why I prefer just to run straight up stands. 
and three magical charge vita this card is the one that helps with the combo i was talking about earlier with uh, loris uh, soul blast one and return this unit to your hand at the beginning of each turn's main phase you may pay the cost if you do choose up to one grade one or less card from your hand call it to an open rear and if you have a grade four vanguard counter charge one so on your opponent's turn you can call the grade one behind your loris vanguard putting it in harmony able to giving plus fives to two of your units including loris so before anything happens you can have her be sitting at 16 which could ruin a lot of your opponent's attack plans um, during their turn and if you use this skill during your turn you get that counter charge which is also nice and for grade ones i run four image master kukuri this is the counter charge perfect guard definitely have to run this one you do counter blast a lot in this deck so this just helps uh, with that and for shandy the stride assist uh, for the deck just so you can get off strides more consistently and three shizuku uh, when this unit is put into harmony once per turn you can check the top five cards of your deck for a grade three reveal it to your opponent put it in your hand uh very good for sifting through the deck grabbing grade threes you need um so you also don't have to drive check them if you successfully search them off with this unit and also to finish up the grade once three magical yell nina I like this card just because, once again, you do counter blast a lot in the Soul Blast 2, Counter Charge 2. Uh, just really helps. Uh, easy ways to get Soul in this deck was by riding on Liddy and then Dolores to build that up using the holographic crit that puts 5 power to Van and you draw a card. Uh, your starter, plenty of ways to get your Soul used for that. And then for uh, your starter, one first lesson Akari. It is a, if this unit is harmony, it gets the skill put into your soul, choose one of your rear guards, return to your hand, and draw a card. Uh, once again, one way to build up uh, that soul, and it has harmony, uh, so very easy to uh, make use of this with the harmony skill. And you can also manipulate rear guards. If you bounce Amelia and use her effect, you're drawing two cards off this card's ability. And then for triggers, I run 8 crit, so 4 uh, arena, the put in the soul plus 5 draw, pretty much staple in the Loris deck. Uh, for uh, Florida, it's basically preference what crit you prefer to run with this deck. And for uh, Dreamer Dreamer Crook, the stand trigger that uh, basically allows you to bounce a card and choose a card from your hand, call to rear when it's harmony, it gets the skill where you put this unit on top of your deck, so you also are able to Recycle through your stand triggers also, and then get off those multiple attacks. And four Sweet Allure Rico to finish off with the heal triggers. So yeah, that is it for the deck profile. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Kira Qualia out.